soundtrack of a better world. We are one. Welcome to the Progressive Birdhouse. and welcome back to the bird house i am bird one this is avian invasion and of course here on november 16th 2022 you guys are starting early all aboard the hype train i'm actually going to kill the the vocals for a second there because i need to explain for the maybe one or two of you that might be new here Every time a hype train starts on this show, we start with an engine shot, and it looks like that's going to be the Heaven Saki. Thank you so much to Colin Mackerel for spinning that one. Every time we bust past level three, which it looks like we're we're a third of the way towards doing that already, I throw in an original track. And of course, if we bust any multiple of level five, well, there's a caboose shot to follow. So let's see how far this train can roll. And let's get ready to party on a Wednesday, shall we? We're starting it off with moderation. <laughs> that's kind of a lie, but that's, that's the track name anyway. I don't make this up. My friends tell me that I'm a bit much. Asking me why I always gotta be in love. But filtering my feelings. Only ever seems to be complicated things. I am way too full. This glorious bottle was sent to me by Zero Key Wolf here in the chat, and I can't thank you enough. Those of you who are pushing this train so far already, let's raise a toast, shall we? Here's to all of you who practice moderation, whatever your definition of that might be. Cheers to you, my friends. Invasion. Down goes level three. We are starting in on level four right now, which means the next track will be an original one. Thank you guys very much. Looks like Origami Griffin, Natolu, No One, Jay Kali, uh, and Rock Pop and Jackal W404 are pushing it hardcore today. Well, with moderation, well, with moderation, do well, well, 
have in fact busted past level three, which means this track right here is... An Avian Invasion Original. Technically, it's trance, but honestly, the line between progressive and trance is so fuzzy these days, it should be part of the furry fandom. This is a little track I released last year, a little scorcher, called Pilot Light. With three minutes left and just 60% left to go, I should get ready to pour that caboose shot, shouldn't I? but like before I even get to that guitar section in the middle here what is that caboose shot gonna be as chaos crew leader Zeroki says hit that shot well somebody spin the wheel of shots for me and see what that caboose for level 5 is gonna be This one came up the heaven Saki, but we just did that one. So Origami spun it again, and we got the Slivovica. All right. A little bit of kosher plumness for you here. Brought to you by Fuzzy Derg. The wonderful Fuzzy Derg here in the chat. This one makes for a good caboose shot. Of course, it would make for a better caboose shot if I could find my shot glass. There we are. So thank you so much for sending me the weird things. Like this. Yes.
about a minute and 45 seconds left in this hype train. Here's to all of you who have thrown your support behind this show already. And here's to all of you who may be tuning in for the first time thinking what the fuck is going on. Trust me, the chaos only gets better from here on out. Thank you for being a part of my life and thank you for keeping me on my talons the whole time. Cheers to you. in one minute to go in this hype train and thank you guys so very very much oh you guys are just tossing out the freebies left and right as well check those seeds of awesomeness down at the bottom at avianinvasion.com slash live you too can program this bird to do all kinds of ridiculous things not the least of which is the dab That is the end of that hype train somewhere in the middle of level six. Thank you all so much for your support. Remember, all the bits, all the cheers, all of the gift subscriptions, they pay for the new music that come, that's coming up in the second hour. But for now, have some grum.
middle of all that chaos, not only did Zero Key Wolf call out a party parrot, I swear to God, I'm going to have neck muscles like a Cardassian by the end of this show. But Jackal W404 wanted a little bit of singing. Can do. Avian Invasion.
are alive. You are beautiful. You are not alone. Free your mind. this an avian invasion original and kaze or k's the alien in the chat is asking you ever thought of performing in vr chat huh funny you mentioned that once a month i actually do a whole week of these shows in vr chat trans invasion the progressive bird house and the early bird breakfast stay tuned for the announcement of the next one or join me at avianinvasion.com slash join and in the meantime I hope you enjoy Sundance Thank you so much, Ty the Fox, for uh, chasing the caboose of that early hype train with a thousand bits. Your support is greatly appreciated.
forget about a thing called love so very much for the kind words warned one and of course if you guys like what you're hearing you can always look up these songs yourself on spotify or elsewhere check out the bottom left of your screen or you can follow me at avianinvasion.com slash spotify or slash mixcloud because the entire set list will be posted along with a recording just about 30 minutes after each show is done you want to rewatch it, of course, hit me at avianinvasion.com slash YouTube. But as we kick it over to Miss Monique, I got to remind you that I'm actually going to be heading back out on the road in not too short a time, actually. Heading to Chicagoland for MFF at the beginning of December and immediately the weekend after, I'm playing a show right here in Seattle at Aura. You can get tickets at avianinvasion.com slash tickets. There's already a bunch that have picked up VIP tables. And if you want to be a part of that, join me at avianinvasion.com slash telegram or slash discord. And I'll tell you how to get in on that action.
taste plum overtones from that sleeve of Ica. That was a nice caboose shot, but I gotta tell you, the new Sockies are an awful lot nicer. Thank you so much to Zero Key Wolf and to Rock Pup for sending me a fresh batch. As I mentioned during the officers only stream last night, I got a mini fridge coming. Yay! So, if any other fresh Sockies come in, they won't go bad. At least that's a theory. <laughs> and as if on cue, Phone 9 spent 12,000 seeds of awesomeness for a random shot. Yes, indeed. There are some new Sockies. You can spin the wheel or just type in the chat command list Sockies if you want to see your choices. Let me know here in the chat. Or just tell me to pick one of the, uh, one of the new guys. And I'll bust it out and we'll have a toast right here in the birdhouse. Looks like Phone 9 is going for the Dasai 45. I've only had one shot of that one so far, so I'm happy to try it again. So if you're taking a toast along with me, now's the time to pour a little something. And don't worry, Brigitte Pose, I will get to that color blast right after this shot. But first, it's time for the counting game. Thank you so very much, Rock Pup, for sending this bottle my way. The Dasai 45, a Junmai Daiginjo. Wow, it's 16% alcohol. This is one of the stiffer sakis I've got in the stable right now. 
So what do we toast to? Well, let us toast to staying warm by watching the building burn to the ground. I'm talking, of course, to Twitter and to crypto. Because frankly, this shit's hilarious. I'm not normally one for schadenfreude. I don't like to laugh at others' misfortune, but I don't know, when you brought it on yourself, it is kind of funny. So, here's to all those of you who have taken my business words to heart, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Well, that's not exactly what I say, but don't focus all of your efforts on one media platform, because it could MySpace at any second. And here's to all those of you who looked at crypto and went, that's a scam. Cheers to you, my prescient friends. Oh, that is absolutely tasty. It's not super dry. It just has a little bit, a little bit of fruitiness to it. I mean, same, really. And as Takala Macrowolf says so eloquently here at the bottom of the chat, fuck crypto. With reverb even. I'm very happy to see, and it gives me hope, I'm very happy to see the collective consciousness of this planet waking up to this scam very quickly. Those of us who are technologically minded or artistically minded saw the writing on the wall quite a while ago, but for those of you that have just figured it out, welcome.
beautiful. You are not alone. Free your mind. got a new poll going up here at avianinvasion.com slash live asking about the fate of Twitter. That's right. Will it actually make it to 2024? Eh, maybe. Will it die before New Year's? Will it die in November, not even making it to December? Will it get Elon indicted? Because I guarantee you the FTC's uh, probably looking into a lot of what he's been doing lately in the last week. And one of the more popular options in that poll seems to be all of the last three. It will die this month. Elon will get indicted. And of course, that means it'll die before New Year. Of course, you got about eh, maybe six, seven minutes left to vote in that poll. So you can either vote for what you think is going to happen or what you'd like to see happen. Let me know at avianinvasion.com slash live.
So I just sent a little shout out here in the chat to follow Mythomorph, which I highly encourage you to do. If you like the blurb shirts that you get at avianvasion.com slash merch, by the way, she makes those by hand. So do me a favor, give her a follow real quick. That's Mythomorph right here on Twitch. Of course, you can follow her on Twitter, but you're better off just watching her streams. And now it's time for another one. An avian invasion origin. This is a little track that's coming out on November 21st everywhere. This is Tremors. Deciding has ended. Most of you think Twitter will actually make it to 2024, and sadly, you're probably all correct. We'll revisit this poll once 2024 rolls around and see just, well, what's become of it at that point.
Once again, that was a brand new original track called Tremors. And you can find that one available for pre-order right now at avianinvasion.com slash tremors. If you want to wait till November 21st, however, it will be available literally everywhere dance music is sold, streamed, or enjoyed. And it'll be at the same URL, avianinvasion.com slash tremors. But now for a little vintage culture. Putting me on the pressure, oh, I'm on the pressure. Putting me on the pressure, oh, I'm on the pressure. Putting me on the pressure, oh, I'm on the pressure. Putting me on the pressure, oh, I'm on the pressure. Putting me on the pressure, oh, I'm on the pressure. Putting me on the pressure, oh, I'm on the pressure. Oh, oh, oh. 
So during that song, Mizard the Everlasting spent those seeds of awesomeness to ask me a question. Do you plug your guitar into Rekordbox itself or have a separate program for it? Whenever I try to plug my guitar in with another program for the guitar, Rekordbox crashes. Well, first of all, I don't use Rekordbox. At least not while I'm performing. The XDJ handles all of the music making. I use Mainstage, which is kind of like Ableton Live, only for uh, Logic users. I use Mainstage to power all of the vocals, all of the sound bites, you know, stuff like Avian Invasion, as well as all the guitar sounds. I try to keep it separate so that I can jump into a club or a convention or a festival and just use the gear that they have and run my own sound independently. It means I have to have a laptop and a broadcast machine running at the same time, but you know, it's just like if I'm playing a live show on an actual stage. So hopefully that helps. And thank you for asking the hard questions. Nothing around us. just occurred to me that it is 20 minutes past the hour, which means I'm a little late for this, but you knew it was coming. New music. 
Join Avian Invasion and explore the hottest new sounds in trance, progressive, and more. Every week, the new music hour begins now. And we're starting off with something brand new from Cascade, Dead Mouse, and James French. This is Avalanche. Thank you. 
I was pleasantly surprised to find out Boris Brechka has a couple of new tracks, and y'all know I'm a big fan of Boris. So here's the first one for you. LSD water pipe? All right. Enjoy the trip, my friends. This is Avian Invasion.
I should mention, of course, that there are there is a way that you can actually support not just this channel, but Andraconix, aka Mythomorph, right here as well. Head to avianinvasion.com slash merch. Grab yourself a shirt. You too can rock the plurb vibe. Peace, love, unity, respect. Bird. And hey, maybe if you throw an extra $8 on top of it, she'll put a blue check mark on there for you as well. She hand makes all of these shirts, so anything is possible. She's already got a bunch of uh, blue check mark add ons for it, all of her merchandise, literally all of it. So, whatever species you want to rock, or of course, the Avian Invasion shirts, check it out. Head to avianinvasion.com slash merch if you want. Well, bird shirt but of course you can go to mythomorph.com as well check out some of her creature creations it's absolutely stunning we're going to be hitting the road of course together hitting mff at the beginning of december and again at fc in january and between the two i think is anthro northwest right here in seattle Andrew Bayer for you.
much as I hate to interrupt the vocals, it is apparently that time again. All aboard the hype train. I did just start a poll in the chat as well, but you can choose what you want to interact with. It looks like we're starting off with another hype train. For those of you who are new here, every time a hype train starts on this channel, we start with an engine shot. If we make it past level three, then I will play an original track for you. And of course, if we bust any multiple of level five, there's a caboose shot as long as that train wants to run. So what is that engine shot going to be, my friend? Somebody spin the wheel of shots for me while I queue up. Well, another Boris track, of course. One with a really good title, I promise you. It's time to knock some birds around. All right, it looks like we're going to be doing the Bekarovka. Oh, Zero Key Wolf is calling out the last new Saki, but I've already tried all the new Sakis. And it looks like Andraconix has called it out right. By spinning that wheel, it's going to be the Christmas in a bottle. I wish we had something like Halloween in a bottle, but that would probably just be like candy corn vodka. And nobody wants to watch a bird throw up on camera. So thank you once again to my friend Fuzzy Dirt for throwing this little bottle my way. We're going to see how far this train will roll in the second hour here. But we're going to start it off right. A little bitter orange and a whole lot of clove. And of course, Boris Brejka bringing the beats for your beak to bop too. So for all those of you who are feeling down right now, for all those of you who might be afraid that the combination of inflation and interest rates and all the other bullshit that's happening in the world might ruin you. Don't worry. Look around you. You are wealthy with friends, and all of them can lend just a little bit of a hand. Even just a pinky finger, because enough of those can lift you up into the sky. So cheers to you for hanging on as long as goddamn necessary. Down goes level one. The clock has been reset. Oh, man. Mm. The Bekarovka is kicking back a little bit. The clock has been reset to about four minutes. And of course, in the middle of that, Mizart the Everlasting spent those seeds of awesomeness for a shout out to state the obvious. Inflation is not my fetish. Sorry. Well, it ain't mine either. And watching a bubble pop isn't exactly what I'd call a fetish. But you gotta admit. Popping bubble wrap is all kinds of cathartic.
course, I encourage you not to knock any birds. Some of us are a little bitey at times. That hype train has about two and a half minutes left on it, and we are, wow, 40% of the way through level two already. Thank you so much for your support. We're going to kick it back over to Andrew Bayer and Kalina Zanders with another new track. It's time to break the rules. The Avian Invasion welcomes you. Oh dear God, pumpkin spice malort. Pumpkin, pumpkin, uh, 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 uh. Oh. Mm. Nope, can't even say it without getting sick. Yep, yeah, it just, it's making the gizzard crush those little uh, digestive gravel into sand. Down goes level two. One more level to go before you get another original track from me. Thank you very much. There's still three and a half minutes. Gift subs to make it happen. We just busted level three. The clock is reset once again. We're steaming towards level four. And that means that original track is coming up. Wow, we're already a third of the way through level four.
Train Level 5. And just like that, we shot past Level 4 and Level 5 with Origami Griffin and Chaos Cool Leader Zeroki tossing out a couple of gift subscriptions and Mirage's Hot Date throwing out 10 gift subscriptions. 10! Holy shit! So that caboose shot is coming right up and it is going to be the Tozai Snow Maiden. Thank you very much to all of you for pushing this hype train to completion. It's okay. Of course, the train hasn't stopped yet. There's still four, four minutes and 15 seconds on the clock to see how far we can push it. Oh my goodness. The vibes keep on coming. Thank you so very much. The bird bubbles are going to continue indefinitely. I'm going to stop talking over the lyrics now. Before I kick it over to an original track, uh, I need to get something into the neighborhood of the same, you know, a uh, key of anything I've written. So we're going to kick it over to Grum with Dark Mode, one of my favorite tracks of his. Theirs, I guess. Ah, yeah. Thank you, Zeriki Wolf. I will not forget the caboose shot. Believe me. I got a job to do up here. I have to make the thumpy noises for as long as humanly possible. So enjoy some Grum. So with two and a half minutes left in this hype train, we've already reached <laughs> caboose number one. I need to come up with better terminology for this now that Twitch has made these trains indefinitely long, indescribably long. The first one you gave me after they opened it up reached, I think, level 16. 16. 16. That's a little crazy. But in any case, it is time for the level five caboose shot. As called out, it's the Tozai Snow Maiden. Unfiltered, berry flavored, but most importantly, available at Costco. So once again, to all those of you who have fallen on hard times, here's to you for having the strength to look up to the stars, to find the light, Instead of focusing on the darkness, it takes effort. It burns calories. Sometimes it even hurts. But keeping your eyes focused in the right direction is the first step to pulling you out of any hole, no matter how deep, no matter how dark. And most importantly, and I'll let the robot say this, you are not alone. So here's to you for hanging on. Seconds remain.
Holy cow. So that train has ended at level six once again. Thank you so very much for pushing it all the way to another caboose shot. I'm kind of amazed I'm still standing right now. Thank God there is no pumpkin spice malort here in the studio. that there was a poll going on and most of you voted for uh, kind of predictably bikini season happens to be my favorite season as well after all as a wise bird once said i so pretty i no need pants well bikini season well I, i guess it's just on the horizon for those of you in the southern hems those of us here in the northern well we can still wear our bikinis inside or in very, very warm hot tubs. Try not to picture DJ Rekka in a bikini. I dare you. So since we busted level three very quickly on that hype train, it's time to play an avian invasion original. And this one is actually something I rarely play on this show. I think I've only ever played it once. It's a friend, a friend. It's a song that I wrote for a dear friend of mine that we lost during COVID. It's devoted to uh, some of his interests and his passions. This is Cloud Cracker. Now, if you want a piece of this new album, you can actually listen to the whole thing as originally mixed right now by hitting avianinvasion.com slash Patreon and joining me there. Or you can wait till the album comes out. Join me at avianinvasion.com slash join. And I'll let you know when that album is going to be released. This is Cloud Cracker. We'll be right back. 
so we have nearly reached the end of our time together here on this Wednesday, but take heart. I will be back Friday morning at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, hopefully outside again, no matter how cold it is. But I want to leave you with another original track, another one that's going on the new album, because some of you need to hear this. For some of you, this hopefully will make a difference, and I want you to take it to heart. In the meantime, tell me who we should raid after this track is done.
at the end of two hours once again. Don't worry, I'll schedule another VR week uh, sometime soon. But right now it's time for us to head over to Loveless Fur. Called out by Glide Path by spending those seeds of awesomeness. And apparently he's even rocking a blurb shirt. So, hey, that's pretty damn cool. Happy to toss it over to him. But for now, I have to leave you with the giant robot voice once again. And remember, the giant robot voice loves you as much as I do. So I'll see you bright and early Friday morning at 8 a.m. Pacific time with a fresh cup of coffee, a clean bathrobe. I don't know if the neighbors will show up randomly and dance on camera with me again, but that was kind of cool last week. No matter what happens, though, there will be some great, deep, and organic house. So I'll see you then. Thanks once again for tuning in here on a Wednesday. Thank you for listening. This show only exists because of dedicated patrons like these. If you want to hear more, the invasion needs you at avianinvasion.com slash Patreon. Look for Avian Invasion on Spotify, Mixcloud, YouTube, and everywhere dance music is sold, streamed, or enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, Bird One reminds you that you are alive, you are beautiful, and you are not alone.